So uh, the, the whole idea on the clamps is, is, is uh, to be able to hold more than two sections that we can hold on each hand uh, and ideally prepare the entire uh, assembly in one piece so you can present it and then just make the tweak, uh, the little minute uh, changes to adjust angles and rotation. That's really the benefit of these things. And then uh, the fact that you can come in and tack them, you know, without having to burn your fingers. So in this case, um, Bryson has already completed all the parts, so the only one we're missing is this, uh, adding it. But I would like to show, uh, you know, that uh, the clamps not only uh, can cover straight to straight, which is the easy way, but also do um, bend to bend. And that's where really their, their, their true power uh, becomes uh, um, valuable for the user. So uh, again, the clamp has uh, two different uh, rings. One is called, the, uh, well, we call it the, 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 the pivoting ring, which is, is the one uh, that has the, um, the fixed end of the adjustable link. And that's the one that gives us the angle. And then the other one is the one that's gonna give us the arc, depending on what the position of this one. So a general rule of thumb is to find the, the highest point of the, each of the tubes. And that's w and when they're aligned, that's, that's not a problem. When they're in different angles or planes, that's when we need to find those uh, top points. And ideally, we place the uh, adjustable link in between them. And that's what allows us to close the, um, the possible gaps that they can uh, develop. Because what we want is uh, concentric uh, joints that are also gapless, so that in, in theory you could just simply do, uh, do a, a quick uh, fusion. So it's very simple. Again, this can be worked actually in the car when you have to tweak just the end where it points, and where it uh, when when you are finally done, it's just simply uh, you know tighten. Um, rotation is really simple. You can just loosen them up a little bit, so you can actually do all these minor uh, changes. In the past, without the clamps, you might remember the days when we had to witness line it, mm -hmm. and if it didn't work, and you didn't find out they didn't work until the end, you had to come back and break it and clean up again and do it again. This way, we can, I mean, you can even use witness lines if you want, but the fact that I can do very little changes and then just test it until the ends are uh, matching, mm -hmm. then I can just commit to it and, um, and then go for the weld. <laughs>